G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm out here at the local pond. Not a bad day out here, and um, I'm here to revisit the uh, JJRC Spectre speedboat that I uh, reviewed last year, a little bit over a year ago, I think. And um, yeah, this one, the difference between this one and the other little uh, speedboats that you can get is that this one has a Wi Fi PV camera, okay? Now, um, I remember I used the Android phone last year, but today I just want to see what it's like on the iPhone 6 to see if the range was, is pretty good or not. But uh, from memory, I didn't have too bad a range uh, on the Android version. This does run off 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, not 5G Wi-Fi, so it does uh, break up after a while. But it's pretty cool that it's got its own little FPV system on it anyway. It's something different to what I've seen before. And uh, besides JJRC, I don't think any other rebrands of this type of boat are out there. So uh, as you can see, there's a camera module here on the left. And it's got a little white, uh, very common white plug there. And um, this runs off a one cell battery in this compartment here and it's fully sealed up. So. There's the plugs there. This is charged up, ready to go. One cell battery. I can't remember what the size of the one cell battery is. You'd have to refer to all the details in my actual review. So what I'll do, I'll put them in the top corner of the screen just here. And uh, you'll be able to see that my unboxing overview and the review on this if you wish to. Now it comes with a lithium ion pack. It's a two cell. I believe this is something like a 600. It's a 600 milliamp hour. I've already got it plugged in, ready to go. So it just runs off a 600 milliamp hour battery, lithium ion battery, which should last around eight minutes from memory. And this has the same size motor as my FT007 that I revisited at this same pond about a week ago, guys, uh, which was my first RC boat. But the difference here between this and the Phelan is that this one is water cooled as you can see you've got the aluminum piping uh, with the spout coming out the side here to expel the water and it gets sucked in through the rear there channels through water cools the motor and comes out all right guys so anyway i'm going to put this all together i'm going to hook the wi-fi up from the iphone there to the actual wi-fi fpv system on the boat and we'll take it for a quick spin Okay guys, well I've got it hooked up, as you can see, to the I've got a screen recording going. So it's all ready to go. And all we have to do is put it in the water. Hopefully this is, ain't too shallow here. Okay. Okay, let's uh, trim that to the right a bit. Now I'll start recording. From the app, all right, so you should be recording to the iPhone. Haven't ran this boat for a while. Might have to trim it to the left a bit. So like many of these other boats, uh, typical of this uh, size, it's supposed to have a range of around 100 meters. Very sharp turns on it. Looks like I've got a pretty good Wi-Fi connection so far. It is choppy. It's going to be with a, you know, Wi-Fi FPV, especially 2.4 gigahertz, guys. So as you can see uh, on the screen recording, getting a bit of footage here, which is pretty cool because you don't get that on majority of these boats, 99.9%. .9 bar this one, excluding this one, that do not have cameras for this price range or this size. Got some swans over there and seagulls wondering what's going on. 
We'll stay away from them. It's got pretty good speed. Same sort of speed as the Phelan. This is heavier though, because it does have that Wi-Fi camera module on top, which it does add a bit of weight onto the top canopy there. Take photos with this as well, guys. So I'm just letting it cruise there on its own. I'm not giving it any direction. And we just broke up with the Wi-Fi. Just cruise along a bit slower for the Wi-Fi to connect. So you're not bad. See, there's a tr thr throttle trim on this as well. Throttle trim high. Oh, that's reverse. There we go. So it's throttle trimming. See if that gives it a bit more kick in the acceleration. Probably not. About the same speed, isn't it? So let me get down a bit and keep it close so you can see it. Try some circles and bring it in closer. Very tight circles. Okay. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I was going to beach it. We'll take it out there again. Right hand circles are not as tight. It's just the way the rudder and the servo have been uh, set up. These are the left hand turns. I think I said right just then, didn't I? No, the right hand turns are sharper, as you can see. And the left hand turns are a bit wider. We're skipping over the water there pretty good. See if I can make it to that uh, fountain. Have made it out there, but the... Bring it back. Lost a bit of range there. There we go, we'll bring it back. So this is the range there, guys, for this uh, boat. Easily 100 meters. So I lost range then again. I'm just zigzagging my way here. So yeah, you're gonna get a bit of delay in the controls when you get it out to that 190 to 100 meter range. So best to keep it in close. All right, so I'm gonna stop that recording, make sure I've got it. I'll start another one. So I've got the throttle trim on, so it's just cruising. Okay, so, you know, not bad little boat. I may replace this Wi-Fi system with a FPV system in it, it's, since it's already got the mounting spot for the camera. An all-in-one 5.8 would be pretty good with this. And it won't interfere either with the control range. A pretty decent run time with this. It's supposed to set off an alarm once this battery gets low. as well
And I think, because these have been out for about a year or so, this particular model, um, they've gone down in price now. So if you're interested in this one, I'll leave a link. And you can check it out for yourself, guys. Fun little boat. Reminds me of my FT-007 that I brought out here the other day. Same sort of design, same sort of speed. You can always put a LiPo on this. Does not have a red JST connector, but a red JST will plug up to this if you've got 2S LiPos. I just thought, you know, I'll use this stock battery. There we go. Hear that beeping noise? So, there's your LVC alarm, and we'll bring it in. Alright. Perfect. Turn the transmitter off. And we'll turn that recording off. All right, guys. Well, that's a revisit of the... Didn't really get anything caught in the prop, which I'm surprised. The water's fairly clean here today. The other day, it was pretty murky. On the other end where I was with the FT-007, I was right at the other end, and it's pretty murky out there. But anyway, um, here's a revisit of the JJRC Spectre RC Speedboat. Pretty small little speedboat here with about, I think it's got a 280 motor, brush motor in it, and the Wi-Fi FPV system on it. So, yeah, I'll definitely show the uh, screen recording and I'll get some clips of the actual uh, footage on the phone and put them during the video here. All right, so you can see what it's like. I believe it's a 720p camera on this particular model. Uh, it wouldn't be 1080p, I don't think. I can't really remember, to be honest with you, but... Looks like it might be 720p. Uh, I'll correct that if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah. Just thought I'll revisit this one, guys, because I, I, uh, I've had this one for a bit over a year now, and I haven't uh, ran it much. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll put the link to this one below, just in case any of you guys are interested, and uh, you can check it out for yourself. I'm pretty sure Banggood do sell this. This one, I believe, was provided by Gearbest. Uh, I'll check if their, their link um, is still active, uh, but uh, I'll put both links to where you can get this anyway, guys, and you can check them out, all right? So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video of the JJRC Spectre. Um, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Until then, enjoy the hobby, and bye for now.